everybody, this is Kaylee again from Parsons Memorial Library. Super excited to have you here today. Today we are opening up our second bag, week two from our Maker Box. So go ahead, get your week two bag out of your Maker Box. I have mine right here. And on the count of three, we are going to dump out the container, the contents of this so we can see what's in it. Are we ready? Okay. One, two, three. Ooh, all right, so we have a popsicle stick, an LED light, a battery, a binder clip, and some more copper tape. And there should actually be two pieces of copper tape already cut out for you, and one should be shorter than the other. If you, if you remember from last week's video, we created a circuit, and we're going to be creating a circuit here as well, but this time we're going to be making our very own flashlight. So um, our, if you recall from last week, the way a circuit works is there is a source of electricity, Again, think of any light in your household. So we have a battery here. And then we need a light source, which is right here. And these, this copper tape is going to be how, is, is going to like transfer the energy from this battery to this light. So what we need to do first is get our popsicle stick. And we are going to take our light. And we're going to just kind of slide the popsicle stick right in between the uh, the legs of the light. Look at that! Super easy. Okay, so now got to peel that copper tape again, and we are going to peel one tape, one piece down one side of the popsicle stick, and then the other piece down the other side of the popsicle stick. And remember to get those legs of the light bulb, our little LED light bulb. So there we go, got peeling it off. Voila. Okay, so it went right up from the top. I know it's really hard to see on this because uh, of the light. We're in a basement library. We're not in a Hollywood studio with experts on lighting and mics. I just got me and my brain. Alright, so I'm going to peel that second piece of tape and it's going to go down the other side that doesn't have the tape. That side has the tape, this side does not. So again, make sure you got Oops, this tape loves to curl around. All right, and so this side is the one that is shorter. There's a little bit of space right there. All right, so next we are going to take our binder clip and we are going to open it up and we're gonna put it on the other side. So there's our light and we're gonna put it on the other side right here. And then I'm going to close, boop, like that. Okay? Now, one last thing we have is our battery. Where do we think this is going to fit in? Right by the binder clip. So, the side with the shorter copper tape, we're going to go ahead and we are going to open up this little lever. I'm going to slide in that battery. And I'm going to press down. Nothing's happening. But if you remember from last week, all we gotta do is flip over that battery and see if it works this time. And look at that! I've got a flashlight! Pretty cool, huh? There we go. And this is exactly how one of those, you know, if you probably, you probably have a flashlight in your home, and this is exactly how it works. Um, maybe not with copper tape, but with some other conductor that is able to get the battery to, the electricity from the battery to the light source. And what's really cool about this is that if you want to tape down your your battery, you can. It'll stay on. Um, but all you gotta do is take off that little switch 
and release the pressure. And when you want it back, there really isn't that much pressure happening. If I hold down my thumb, the battery will stay in place. There you go, you got your neat little flashlight. So there you go, everybody. That is our maker kit for this week. Thanks so much for joining us. Next week, we are moving on from circuits, and we are going to be creating something totally new about circuits involved. So thanks so much, everybody, for joining us. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you would like to share your creation of your flashlight, uh, give us, you know, comment below share a picture. We love it. We'd love to see what you all are creating. So thanks so much, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye!